Oh my goodness, it actually happened. What is up guys, Modern Miner here with some awesome, awesome thrift store finds and eBay pickups. So, I had an orthodontist appointment yesterday and we went out to a couple places, including a couple thrift stores. The second thrift store we went to, we go to there quite a bit, and they always have a good selection of flatware. So, I like to scour through it, and I saw this pack of forks right here. And I looked at it, and I could not believe what I saw. It had one stainless steel fork, which I don't care about, but all five of these are solid sterling silver. I'm not even kidding. I'll get a close-up of the silver, the sterling mark so I can show you, but all five of these were solid sterling. And I got this pack of forks for $2.99. I also got this pack of spoons for $2.99. Three of these are stainless. Don't care about those. This one is silver plated. Not really a big deal. But these two, these are solid sterling. This one is international sterling, which is the same as the same design as these forks. And this one is a Reed and Barton sterling silver spoon. I believe this is a sugar spoon. So I'll get some close up of the of the sterling marks so you know I'm not playing with you. And there you have it. Five solid sterling silver forks. Here's the sugar spoon, sterling, and the other spoon, also sterling. Both of these packs, six bucks, and I was completely floored when I weighed them out and saw what the silver value itself was. So we're going to take a look at that real quick. All right, we got our scale set to grams. It's so going to take the five forks and two spoons. Carefully put them on here. 240.4 grams of sterling silver. I'm going to put that into the sterling silver calculator on coinapps.com. Silver spot is currently at 1769 per ounce. So, the total value of the silver in this flatware is currently at $126.47. And I paid $6 for both of these packs. I was, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. It's just amazing. I've never had a score like this. This is even bigger than the score that I got at that Capital One. <laughs> okay, so... We're going to take a look at some coins that I recently found. This is one of my recent eBay pickups. It's an 1879 Morgan dollar. Now, some of you may have seen my previous video, which explains the basics about the Morgan dollar. Um, one thing that I failed to mention, which I'm kicking myself for, was why it's called the Morgan dollar. Well, this coin was designed by mint engraver George T. Morgan hence the name. That's where it comes from. Alright, now that I got that off my chest, this is an 1879 Morgan Dollar, and now I also said that I didn't have any Carson City examples to show you. This is a Carson City. So, this is the second year Morgan Dollar. This is actually a VAM variety. This is a capped die mint mark. Now what that means is the mint mark was struck with, I think, maybe a rusted die or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what the story is behind it, but the mint mark looks like it, it was kind of double stamped, and the stamp underneath of it was kind of all jarbled up and stuff. It's, it's, it's kind of weird looking. I'll get a close-up of it in a minute. But this one has been cleaned, you can tell, because of all the dirt around the devices. But overall, it's a pretty nice coin, and I'm happy with it. I'm, I am going to sell it. I'll be selling it on eBay pretty soon. So this is, at the moment, my rarest Morgan dollar. It's probably worth over $100. So 
I'll give you a close up of that mint mark real quick. Notice how it's a little messed up underneath. You got that little thing sticking out of the right C. So this is a pretty nice example of a capped die or also it's also called a capped CC. So I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. I've researched these a little bit and you know learning the difference between a clear CC and a capped CC. So it's a pretty cool history. I'd recommend anyone to look it up, learn about it, and if you find a good deal, even buy one for yourself. All right, time for the unboxing. This is a fairly heavy package. I paid a little over $100 for it. I already opened it, but I haven't looked at the contents, so let's get right into it. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot. It's got this weird green slime on it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So this is 143 silver nickels. Yep. <laughs> Dump these out. Good look. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen that many at once. These are big rolls. Man, I've never seen them like this. But these are 35% silver. These are minted from 1942 to 1945. And whenever you get one of these nickels, you can tell it's silver because you have the big mint mark right above Monticello. In this case, it's a P, but it could also be a D or an S. So, I bought 143 of them. So, hopefully all of them are here. And I only paid a hundred and ten dollars for these so if we go on to coinapps.com I can see what the melt value of these is I'm gonna put that in 143 and I paid a hundred and ten dollars for all these now I'll put in like, of course there might be a little bit of wear on them, which will take a little bit of silver away, but $142, and I paid 110 that's not bad at all. I'm going to count them just to make sure they're all here. I don't know how cherry pickable these are, but I can look at that up and take a closer look at all of them. Now. The trip we took out to the thrift stores, we also went to a grocery store, and they had a coin machine. Now, the one, the same store that's nearby, they have their own coin machine too, and I usually don't find anything in it. But this one that we went to, I'll typically find a few coins, and I actually found a few foreign coins. I found a uh, 1986 half franc French coin. Some kind of Asian coin. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of cool looking. And a 2011. I don't even know what that is. I can't. <laughs> 500 something. I don't know. If someone knows, let me know. And I also found a penny. That This thing is just chewed to death. However, it is copper because I weighed it out in 3.1 grams. So, I'm going to enjoy these nickels for a little while. I got more coins coming in the mail. Maybe I'll show you those in my next video. But thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's the most important part. Shoot me a comment. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. And keep cherry picking. And keep looking for that silver.